President Akufuado says two of his appointees, although he did not mention their names, are currently being investigated over acts of corruption and will face the full rigors of the law if found guilty. It was addressing the diplomatic corps at this year's New Year greetings and diplomatic reception at the Pediasi Lodge in the Eastern Region. Hosting of envoys in the country by the president in January annually is to exchange goodwill messages and further strengthen friendships. Minister of Foreign Affairs Shelly Ayokoboche lauded the diplomatic call for their effective collaboration with their ministry and promised to work harder to build a much stronger relationship. Ghana's collaboration with your respective countries and the institutions you represent remain on a positive trajectory. I have observed with admiration the growing interest the Dean and members of the Diplomatic Corps in Ghana continue to show in all dimensions of Ghana's development process, with emphasis on developing sustainable partnerships within the framework of President Akufuado's vision of building a Ghana beyond aid. Dean of the Diplomatic Corps and Ambassador for Colombia, Claudia Tobe Quintero, praised Ghana for her efforts to improve her economy and pledged the core's support to enhance the country's socio-economic development. President Ikofado said government's effort at fighting corruption continues unabated, urging the envoys to expose any official of his administration. Every single alleged act of corruption leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as Shrabs, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. Indeed, two appointees of the executive are still facing investigations. Should you, members of the diplomatic corps, be notified of any evidence of corruption against any of my appointees, I insist that they be shared with my office to enable action to be taken on the matter. 